Let's get started. Create a new composition, by clicking Composition, New. Name it as Particle Text. For this tutorial, I'm using Full HD. And frame per second is 24. Duration is 10 seconds. Click OK. Add a new solid layer. Press right click on the timeline. New and click Solid. Name this layer to BG and click OK. Go to Effects and Presets. And search for Ramp Effect. Add the effect to BG layer. Now change the start color. For this, I'm using dark colors. Move the upper median point to the left corner. And move the lower median point to the right corner. Change the end color. Perfect. Add a text to the composition. Grab the text tool and write your own text. For this tutorial, I'm using remastered scripts fonts. You can download the same from the description down below. For the text autumn, I'm using yellow color. Align your text to the middle. Now right click each text. And go to layer styles. And select bevel and emboss effect, to have more depth. Select both text and right click to pre-compose. Change the name to particle text and click OK. Right click to the timeline, and add a camera layer. Focal length should be 35 mm and depth of field should be enabled. Rename it cam. Click OK and add the layer to the timeline. Now add a new solid layer to the timeline. Name it as particle front. Click OK to add it. Go to effects and presets. And add at wrap code particular effects, on the particle front layer. Move this layer, below the camera layer. And click the 3D box for the text layer. Now go to particle front layer properties and change these settings. Go to emitter, and change emitter type from point to box. Go down and change emitter size from X to 2500, Y and Z to 2000. Move your time to 0 seconds and press the stopwatch next to particles per second, to add a keyframe. Change the value from 100 to 20,000. Now move the timeline to 1 second and change the value to 0. Now press U on particle front layer to see the keyframes. Move the second keyframe to 0 seconds. Right click on the timeline to add a new light layer. Change the name to spot and change the color to golden. Click OK to add. Again repeat the same steps to add new ambient light. Now the color would be yellow. Click OK to add. Go back to particles front layer. Close emitter and go to particles property. Change life per second from 3 to 10. Change particle type from sphere to sprite. It will open few other options. Now we have to change particles to leaves. Go to texture, we have to add a leaf layer to it. Go back to project window. And import all the leaves to the project. All leaves can be downloaded from the description down below. Select all leaves and move to the composition to create a new composition. It should be single composition and still duration would be 1 second. Select sequence layer and click OK. Move the created composition to the timeline. Right click on the composition and go to transform and click fit to comp. Now go back to particle front layer and go to texture property and change the layer from none to the create composition. Open rotation, and change random rotation from 0 to 15. Change rotation speed Z to 0.2 and random speed rotation to 0.2. Change size from 5 to 35. Now move your timeline to check the leaves. Close the particles property. Go to spotlight and press P to open position. Change the value to negative 70, negative 75, and minus 2500.
One more thing, go to text layer, press A twice and it will open material option, just off the light option to text layer. Otherwise it will show black text. Now go back to particle layer, and open shading option. Turn on the shading. Change nominal distance to 3500. Change ambient E from 20 to 30. Close shading property, go to physics and go to air. Change spin amplitude to 25. Change wind X to 75. Go to turbulence field. And change effect position to 40. And complexity from 3 to 2. Close physics option and go to world transform. Move your timeline to 0 seconds. Press the stopwatch icon next to X rotation. Now move the timeline to end of the composition, that is 10 seconds. And change the value to 25 degrees. Close the world transform and now go to visibility. Change far vanish and far start fade to 1200 each. Now duplicate the particle front layer and move it down to text layer. Rename it particle back layer. Now select the particle back layer and go to visibility option. Change far vanish to 20,000. And far start date to 19,000. Change near start fade and near vanish to 1,200. Go to cam layer and open transform option. Now select stopwatch next to point of interest, position and orientation to add a keyframe. Check your timeline is on 0 seconds. Zoom your camera using trackpad zoom tool from the tool set. Zoom it till the text is not visible. Now move the timeline to 8 seconds and zoom out till the text is visible. Select the second keyframe and right click. Go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease in. Now go to text layer and press T to open opacity option. Move the timeline to 0 seconds and select the stopwatch and change the value to 0%. Now move the timeline to 8 seconds and change the value to 100%. If you want to add more effect, then you can on the blur effect. On the blur effect to three layers, particle front, text layer and particle back layer. Now play your timeline to check the effects. If you like my video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel to learn more tutorials. Thank you and have a nice day.